Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to use our glowing butterfly overlays. So I've got this uh, image open right here and I've got some butterflies open in other windows and some sparkles. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to add my first butterfly. So with my move tool selected, I'm going to click down on the butterfly. I'm going to drag it up to my photo tab and I'm going to drop it right in. Now we're going to scale this image. So control T on your keyboard will bring up your um, transformation window. Now holding down your shift key and grabbing any one of these four corners, you can scale your image proportionally and not distort it. So scale it down to about where you want it. And then you'll notice if you hover around the corners, it um, this turns into your cursor turns into a rotation tool. So you can rotate this any way you'd like it. I think I kind of like it there, and let's sort of move it right about there. Hit enter on your keyboard. That will apply your transformation. Now the next thing you want to do is name your layer. So let's name this butterfly. And let's set this to screen mode. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an outer glow to this to sort of give it that nice... Um, ethereal glowing effect. So double click on your butterfly layer. That's going to bring up your um, blending options. And we're going to add an outer glow. So click on your outer glow. And then if you actually click on the words outer glow, it's going to bring up your outer glow options over here. So um, by default, it um, is in screen mode, and that's perfect. Um, the opacity, we're going to bring that up to 100. And then let's play with the size here. Uh, we'll want to make that nice and big. Um, maybe somewhere around there is pretty good. And then you can come down here and you can play with your range slider. What this will do is it'll um, uh, determine the, the effect or how intense it is, rather. That's the word I was looking for. So let's set that to somewhere, I don't know, maybe somewhere around 50. And you can see that gives you a nice little glow in there. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on my, on my uh, blending palette there. And then I'm going to right click on this effects in my layer palette and I'm going to copy the layer style. Um, so what that means is any other butterflies that I want to add to this composition, I can just paste that and not go in and have to adjust each one separately. So the next thing I'm going to do is let's add that sparkling trail to this. So I've got that open uh, here in another window. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's white over this checkerboard. So I'm going to click down on this and I'm going to drag it up to my photo layer and then we're going to drop it right onto the canvas. And now you can see the sparkles better. So again, control T on your keyboard. That's going to allow us to scale this and rotate it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, again, hold down my shift key, grabbing any one of the four corners, and we're going to just uh, reduce that down to about the size we'd like. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to, I think I'd like to flip this horizontally. So we want the trails coming from the butterfly sort of going up. And then let's sort of position this um, down here on the end. And if you grab this um, center, uh, you can drag it down to the corner here, and again, if you go on the outside here, you'll see how, if, if you go near the four corners, your cursor turns to a rotation tool. Now we can rotate it, and it'll rotate on the axis where we've sort of set that axis point. So we can sort of put that uh, anywhere we like it. I think that, that it looks pretty good. So let's hit enter on the keyboard, and let's go ahead and name this sparkles in our layer palette. And now we're going to right click on this and we're going to paste the layer style. And you can see that that added um, the layer style to the sparkles. Now we might want to adjust that somewhat. So let's come in here and double click on our outer glow. That's going to pull up our outer glow um, blending options again. And let's go ahead and adjust the range to that. Um, you can see how it's making that a little bit 
giving that more of a glow on that. I think that looks pretty good right there. So click OK. And there's our first one. Now if we want to add another butterfly, let's go ahead. I've got another one open here. We're going to click on that. We're going to drag it up to our photo. We're going to drop it in here. Control T on the keyboard while holding down your shift key. We're going to drag in any one of the four corners. And I'm going to drag this down here. Let's maybe have it sitting on this flower. Um, and then we're going to rotate this. Right there looks pretty good. And I'll hit enter on the keyboard. And let's go ahead and name that. And again, we're going to right click and we are going to paste layer style. And you can see how that, that gives that a real nice glow there. And you can situate that anywhere you like. And um, so just keep repeating these steps until you've got the amount of butterflies you like in your composition um, and just have fun with this. Mm -hmm.